So I do know nuclear safety engineers, and these guys write protocol after protocol to try to do what they can to keep these plants safe. But they're the first to tell you that this is one great big engineering nightmare. The whole thing is. It's like the purpose of nuclear power plants was originally not to make electricity. It was to provide nuclear material for our weapons program. The people who used to regulate the nuclear industry used to be the Department of Defense. So the purpose of these plants were to make nuclear bomb material, and electricity and steam were the byproduct. So, you know, after we had all the nuclear weapons we needed, well, now it became a business, you know, to produce electricity with them, but it's never been cost effective. It's the most expensive electricity we have. You know, the uh, Union of Concerned Scientists, uh, the Union of Concerned Scientists did a study that said that, in fact, nuclear is about twice as, spent, as expensive as what we're paying for it because of all the subsidies for the last 70 years. Instead of five cents, it should be 10, essentially. Uh, so, uh, you know, I couldn't agree with you more. If you take the subsidies off the table, uh, a lot of renewables uh, come come to the surface as being much more viable. And that doesn't even... That doesn't even include, you know, hanging on to the nuclear waste for a quarter of a million years. Well, you mean four and a half billion years. It's only acutely toxic for 250,000, <laughs> but it continues to be toxic for billions of years. But, you know, if you think about Love Canal, right, this was the chemical dump up in the northeast. And, you know, after a while, they paved it over. And it sat there for a while, and developers came along and said, wow, look at that great place to put a bunch of houses. And they built a whole neighborhood on top of it. They couldn't even keep track of chemical waste for a generation. How are we going to keep track of nuclear waste for 250,000 years? It just isn't going to happen. But the corporation that made the money on that plant will be long gone by then. The nuclear industry has, through the Department of Energy, gets enormous subsidies. And now we're on to thorium reactors and small modular reactors and advanced power reactors. The, um, the government funded a, an organization called New Start whose purpose was to uh, get the uh, advanced reactors up and running that are going on in Georgia. And they, uh, we were actually, through our tax dollars, paying New Start and New Start's attorneys to prevent the public from being involved in the process. So public money went to a, a to private corporation to prevent the public from participating in the licensing process. Oh, that's beautiful. Well, you know, this, this whole thing is so unnecessary, too, because basically nuclear power and oil and coal, they're all based on things that eventually run out. You know, and so whatever, whoever controls the limited amount of those things makes the money. And so there's a real vested interest in industries to use things that run out because they can make way more money on something where it has an unlimited supply which is like solar energy. Now, uh, you know, Arnie may agree with me on this, which is we're actually both very much in favor of nuclear power, although it doesn't sound like it. But the thing is, where do you put a nuclear power plant? The answer is there is a right place to put it in relation to people, and that's 92 million miles away. It's called the sun, okay? So when the nuclear power plant is that far away, you don't even need a containment vessel, okay? So the energy coming from the sun is something we're going to have for four and a half billion years. In fact, well, that's about as long as some nuclear waste lasts. So, so when the sun burns out, yes, we have other problems, you know. But until then, solar energy is this annoying thing to corporations because no one has to directly pay for it. It falls everywhere. There's no channeling it or collecting it or keeping people away from it.